Hello friends, welcome to AEM Learning and Training. I am Satish Chaudhary and I am bringing you yet another video on AEM. Hope you guys like it. If you like it, please subscribe and please post your comment on the feedback. I would really appreciate if you can spend some time to post some comments on my video. In this video, I want to talk about the folder structure of our JCR repository. I will explain the folder structure in the CRXT light. CRXT stands for Content Repository Extreme Development Environment. CRXT light is embedded into AEM and enables us to perform standard development tasks in the browser. With CRXT light, you can create a project, create and edit files, JSP, Sitely, HTML, Client Libs, Java, name it any. You can create folders, templates, components, dialogues, nodes, property. Basically, you can control all the repository structure in yours. CRXT. This gives this is the development uh, environment which you can use in a browser. So let's about let's talk about how to get start with CRXT. Right? I'm assuming you already have AM installed on your local or in the server. The best way to do is install the EM server, browse to the location, to note its HTTPS or HTTP, call on your host number, provided the port number, followed by slash CRX slash T. For example, you have localhost 4502 slash CRX slash T. Once you log into that, uh, you, you may be prompted for your username and password. If you are already logged in, you may not be prompted, but if you have not, you need to enter your username and password by default it's always admin and admin once you click on ok you will get to a page with the following structure have a look at your left for a sample screen grab of how a crxt looks like so uh, generally crxt light is not recommended to use for your development purpose but it is uh, you can use it when uh, in the following cases when you do not have direct access to the server uh, i mean the am server when you want to develop an x application by extending or modifying the out of box components or the java models or when you do not need a dedicated debugger code completion and syntax reality however it is always recommended to use am developers tool like the am developer tools for eclipse stl brackets extension We'll talk about all the folders uh, which we have in our CRXT repository. Let's start with the folder slash apps. Slash apps is the most important folder and you will be, as a developer, you will work mostly on the slash apps folder. All the custom templates, components and other definition of your sites are stored here. Uh, it's always, uh, whenever we want to extend our default components, we always copy it from the libs folder and place it inside the apps folder and do any modification on top of it uh, do note we should not do any changes directly on the lips folder we should always modify our content on the apps folder second folder which we have is the con folder the con folder contains all the configuration of your site of late since am 6.2 the dynamic templates or the editable templates and the policies are also stored under the con folder Next, we have the content folder. As the name suggests, it contains all the content of your sites, uh, the site structure, site folders, any content is stored in the content folder. Then we uh, get into ETC folder. It contains all the resources related to your utilities and tools. All the AM utilities and tools are stored inside the ETC folder. The home folder, uh, it contains all the information related to the other users and groups which we have defined in AEM. So any uh, information related to AEM users and groups are stored under the slash home folder. Then we have the slash lift folder. This is where all the libraries and definition that belong to Adobe Experience Manager code is stored. All the foundation components are available here. Do note, uh, as I told earlier, 
we should not modify anything inside slash lips folder it's one o'clock if we do that it prevents us or it may have issues with further upgrades so if we need to do any enhancement to an existing component or any existing foundation component it's uh, always advisable to replicate the same inside the slash apps folder and do any modification this ensures that you will have a smooth upgrade because slash lips contains all the libraries and definition that belong to adobe experience manager code then we have oak index oak index contains the jackrabbit definitions or jackrabbit oak index definitions each node specifies details of one particular index slash tmp uh, it is a temporary working area in aem it's not generally used by the developer it's just a temporary area used uh, during executions slash where uh, is is a folder generally used by the system it is used for uh, changes and updates by system like audit logs statistics event handling so we went through the all the folders um, structure in crxt hope you liked our video if you have any questions and feedback please put in in our comment section if you like it please share and subscribe and thank you for watching until then uh, take care good night sweet dream